to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this makeup look. I'm just going to get straight into it. So if you want to see how I got this makeup, please stay tuned. So I've already done my brows and I'm going to jump straight in with some eyelid primer. I'm using again the balm put a lid on it. I'm then going to go in and powder my lids using Nude by Nature's Press Mattifying Mineral Veil just to help the eyeshadows blend. I'm going to go in with my favourite palette in the world, the Zoeva Cocoa Blend. I'm going to go in first with Substitute for Love and start to build up a transition shade. I would say having a good transition shade that is the colour of your bronzer, if not just your bronzer, which I normally use is a really simple way to tie everything in nicely together. Now I'm going to go in with this colour here. Beans are white and I'm going to start to build in the outer corner. Oh, and these brushes that I'm using are Avoni. I got them on eBay. They're not bad actually. Then I'm going to pick up some of the freshly toasted. Deepen up that crease a bit more. and just blend it all out. I'm lightly dragging that shade in here. I'm just adding a bit more Beans Are White to the outer corner. So now I really have been wanting to try this color by uh, Colourpop, Super Shock Shadow in Partridge. Mine fell unfortunately and broke, but I've mashed it back together. So I'm going to use this, um, it's a concealer brush by Jessup. And this colour is really cool. I don't know if you can see, but it's like brown with a green jewel tone kind of reflection on it. So I really want that to show up on my lid, which is why I'm using a concealer brush because I kind of want to pack it on. Now I'm going to go in with the Zoeva Metals palette, which is also very pretty. I'm going to pick up some of this bronze, bronze, I think it's called, bronze colour. Yeah. I'm just patting that over the Colourpop shadow. And then in the inner third, to make it pop a little bit more, I'm going to pick up some of this Neo Brass. Okay, now that I have a good idea of how dark I want it to be, I'm just going to go back in with the Beans Are White shade and a denser brush and just push some more in there. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to go in with my Napoleon Purdus Forbidden Black Liquid Liner. I find this, it's like a big texture, but it's so easy to use even for me. Now I'm going to do a quick coat of mascara. Of course, Model Co's Lash Extend. Ooh, now onto skin. Had a little bit of fallout, I think, from the Colour pop because I was packing it on. That's alright. This is why I normally do my eyes first. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Mud Foundation palette and adding a couple of drops. I've got some almond oil in here. One drop goes a long way, but make a combination, find my skin tone. When I use this palette, I never use one color all over my face. And it's handy to have a palette like this if you tan. So in previous videos, I've mentioned that I don't wear full coverage. I've just packed it on. And you can probably see why. I look, I think I look really strange. Now I'm gonna go in with the Wake Me Up Concealer by Rimmel under my eyes. I'm going to powder using my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I 
Now I'm going to go in with some much needed bronzer. This is Stiller's Stay All Day Bronzer in Dark. I'm going to slightly contour my nose because I completely stripped it of freckles. And I'm going to do one of my favourite things to do and that's Now I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of blush. This is the Orange Brown Blush by Carez. And I'm going to go in with Becca's Champagne Pop as my highlight. I'm also going to use a little bit of Champagne Pop as a highlight in my brow bone. I'm going to line my lips with this C2 Lip Liner in Brown Sugar. And I'm going to go in with this uh, Models Prefer Matte Lipstick. Don't know the name of it. It's a collaboration with Samantha Jade. So while my camera decided to play up on me, I went ahead and put on some lashes. Um, and this is the final look. I actually am quite happy with how it turned out. I wish I was actually going somewhere today, but instead I'm going to take a few selfies, upload them to Instagram, then remove it all and continue studying, which is what I was supposed to have been doing all day today. Shh, don't tell anyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Please comment below with any suggestions of anything you'd like me to film and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.